All right, hey Leo, you guys, I'm doing a soul contract read and this is um, for you and the person that's on your mind and you're gonna know this is your read by your mutual energy and the current situation. So you just have to rest assured if you resonate with the energy I pull that your other person is feeling that same dynamic. All right, if you guys are new, welcome. I do hope that if you like my energy, you will subscribe. And let's just see what's coming through here for you. All right, the mutual energy. All right, wow, they're just like flying out. Look at that, we have justice card showing up. The page of wands. And we have the seven of wands coming through too. So I really feel like you guys are really carrying space, holding space for one another. Okay. I don't feel like there's too much drama and conflict. There could be silence. All right. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because we have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. So it could just be confliction, like um, a restrained type of energy that's kind of coming through the dynamic for now. And that happens when we have powerful connections that come through. Okay. I feel like the page of wands is the recognition of a soul level dynamic and justice card, you know, coming through. It could be that, you know, when things are not feeling so great about this connection, it could be that we talk about, oh, my karma, my karma. No, you know, this is positive karma. So even if you've had your fair share of ups and downs with this person, you guys, I feel like justice represents positive karma. When we keep our thoughts positive, we create a positive environment, right? And the seven of wands, I feel like that's you guys kind of holding space for one another. I got you, right? That's the love language that's coming through here. I got you. Um, I really feel like even if there is a separation, even if there is a split, even if there's, you know, drama confliction that surrounds um, the tones of this connection, it's like you guys, it's like you're seeing past all of that and everything's a blur and it's like our sights are right there on each other. Okay. So I, I really feel like that's what's coming through the, the energy flow, regardless of where you guys are at right now, I feel is, is really, really positive. It's like, there's some sort of a, a like, I don't know. It's like a, a, a switch. This is not like anything that you've ever experienced before. And I feel like that, that carries into both of you guys. So let's see what the current situation is. The current situation, we got that lover's card, another soul recognition card coming through. The ace of wands. All right. Lovers, ace of wands. We got the king of swords coming through. So the king of swords, you know, he didn't drop in the complete upright position, but I feel like it's somebody who just is not quite in tune with their feelings and emotions um, when it comes to this um, sort of depth when it comes to having somebody occupy that mind or heart space. Okay. I really feel like you guys, if you guys have had, um, in and out energy, I kind of feel like right now it's coming together. So I feel like there is communication. There is a, a re soul bond. Okay. The 10 of swords is to me, it's like you guys have experienced the negative situation. And if you haven't stepped into the new beginning with the ace of wands, you have to be sure you it's like, okay, you don't have to be sure, but you're going to feel the energy change. You're going to feel an energetic shift. And I feel like you've already felt that between the last couple of days to now that you know that something big is changing and, and it does, it's weighing on your mind space and it has everything to do with this person on your mind. Okay. Um, this could be indicative of past life reference too, if this is a brand new connection. So keep an open mind, you guys, on how to process what's coming through here. Because really, this energy is also positive. So even if you've had a history, it's shifting towards a positive direction. If you've never, you know, um, had a connection with this person, just trust that you guys are here to reconcile and um, take care of all the past life uh, karma. So uh, speaking of that, let's just see where you guys kind of left things hanging. Oh, yeah. You guys, I, I'm sorry, I, this was not like an intended twin flame or soulmate read, but I'm going to tell you, there have been so many triggers come through here. All right. You have the two of wands. This is my twin flame card of like all the cards that come through. You got soulmate. Yes. With the lover. Okay. But the two of wands coming through is it, right here in the past. It's like somebody went a different direction because they couldn't, they couldn't, the capacity of the this connection was too much in the last lifetime. I'm sorry. I use my hands. I talk with my hands. You guys look at this. All talk, no action. We're not moving forward. We're not making progress. Okay. So there was a recognition. Okay. And if you're recognizing that 
in this lifetime, Leo, you recognize it, but you haven't heard this person say anything. I'm going to tell you that they recognize it and you guys both rec recognized it last life, but it's like somebody couldn't get their crap enough together uh, to, to be persuaded to go on that path. It's like, oh no, I'm human and I'm going to enjoy this human experience. And, and yes, I, I like you and I love you and I feel so like free with you, but I have to take my energy somewhere else. You know, this is like, it's almost like this. It's like a simple um, misstep, you know, it might be more fun over here. So I'm going to go over here. I really just feel like this is simply somebody who is not elevated enough to line up, all right, to what the journey is, okay? Um, the fact that the twin, the two of wands, the twin flame card for me comes through, this is the veil right here that's being lifted. It's like you guys seen that in this last lifetime, but you didn't proceed. You were not in pursuit, all right, of the whole dynamic. Um, this page of swords is, is it's a really immature energy. And look at, you have judgment card. And I feel like this is coming through because it represents the, the many lifetimes you guys have experienced together where things were just, it's not, it's not time yet. We're not going to acknowledge this. We're not, no, I don't want to go, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I'm not ready to go back to, I, I'm just thinking of like Orion. I'm not ready to go back to Sirius. I'm not, I'm not ready to go back to the M31 Andromeda galaxy. I want some more time on earth because I'm not done having the human experience. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know where this energy is coming from, you guys. But it's like you guys have known and were, have been on board since the dawn of time. But it's like, okay, maybe in this lifetime right now, we're ready for that. Okay. Um, I don't, you guys, I'm completely into star seeds and the spiritual journey, the fifth density, sixth density. I'm completely into wanderers learning and um ascension uh the human evolution journey you guys so forgive me if that what i just said doesn't make sense to you if it doesn't make sense to you i'll tell you that it probably is it's not your read okay i really feel like for whoever is here you're gonna know quite quite with an open and maybe even a heaven a, a, a heavy heart um, that this is dear read because I feel like for those who are here, you probably have this. I'm going to get emotional because um, it's a, the longing for home because the shit that you've dealt with this lifetime has just been, um, it's not been positive karma rewards. And you probably question yourself as to what the hell you're even doing here, right? Because do you feel like you belong here? Um, okay. You have, I'm going to tell you this, you guys, and this might be a little bit, I don't, and I don't know what's happening right now, but I just, I have to say, you have enjoyed all of your human experiences and incarnations. And my heart is just feeling so light, so airy. So um, it's like it's filled with joy, but um, there's an emptiness to it. And it's because whoever is here, it's like, you know, that you don't need somebody um, to carry, a, you know, a future for yourself. But it would be nice to have that human resonance with somebody, anybody, right? And I just feel like this one person that you've met in this lifetime is probably still blocking the connection. It doesn't mean, okay, it doesn't mean that you are actually physically blocked, but it's almost like you, it's like if you guys don't talk for a certain amount of time, it's like there might be a little bit of hole in your heart because it's like, I don't even know this person very well, especially for those who are new. But why does it feel so strange? And why do I feel like this? And it's because you've carried these experiences before. And if this is a reconciliation, there's a, there, it's like no wonder you feel so good when this person's coming back in, when they step back in the door, you know, to, to your heart, you know. Um, I just really feel like this is, it's, uh, yeah, I, I have to, let's just keep moving on because I just, I, I could start crying, uh, feeling that energy. So let's see what you guys have uh, what's, what's, what's going to be resolved this lifetime? What is being resolved? Look at that. The return, you guys, the return is coming through the offer, the gesture, the opening of um, brand new doors when it comes to that emotional heart space. And you got the victory, you got the solid win, you got moving forward. Okay. So if you haven't felt this energy and there has been um, displacement of the connection, if there has been, you know, uh, withholding of moving forward, you guys are meant to come to full to full union and you are meant to experience or it's like it's like that that breath of fresh air I feel like you are meant to experience that with one another this lifetime and I just can't help but feel like telling you um it's gonna happen uh and for whoever is here if, if you are still here 
um, you got you take take that faith and place it with the, the spirit guides that are guiding this connection with God with the universe you know um, place that contentment and just know I feel like that you you guys is it I don't even have to pull any more cards to tell you that this is going to be a protected dynamic okay um, and I just I really feel like it's going to march forward so let's just see what you how you are meant to grow in this lifetime from this connection um, how you are meant to grow. So if, if you guys have lacked balance when it comes to the feminine aspects of life, mom, aunts, um, grandmas, sisters, ex-girlfriends, uh, friendships, anything to do with distortion of the divine feminine. Okay. Um, that's healing within self. So this connection right here is, is showing you the mirror aspect of this is how you're supposed to be treated. This is what love is. Okay, and I can't help but feel like for whoever is here, as I was coming into that lonely type of feeling, nobody else is going to fill you up as much as you're going to fill yourself up. And that, you're going to learn that through the experience with this person. Okay, you look at triggers, anxiety, and depression. Thinking about the past calls in depression. Thinking about the future too much brings on anxiety. And I really feel like what you're meant to, to, to learn through this connection is to be present right here in the moment. We, you have the three of pentacles in reverse and I feel like what this is going to show you is how maybe even false all right some of your friendships and family um family connections have been um it's like this a true awakening a true activation coming through with this connection Leo and I just really feel like um even right now if you are still here you're you're kind of knowing that you're here for a, a very very divine purpose how will this person grow look at that I mean, sh oh my effing God, like I just want to cuss up and down the street right now, you guys. You guys are meant to prepare each other, all right, for the ultimate journey, the ultimate fulfillment. Okay, look at this. The um, the leaving, I can't help but feel like you guys in this, um, here in this experience, you haven't even um, experienced the worst um, that connections can be. I really feel like it's more about, hey, when, when, it, when you're gone and when we have this disconnection or you have your busy time and I have my busy time, it's almost like you guys can't stand it. I, I, I can't help but feel like this is such a fresh connection. Um, it, it's, it just screams love. Look at this. You guys are stepping into divine masculine and divine feminine energy. And it's like when you guys meet and connect, all right, and that's already happened, but it's like your, your souls, you know where home is at. And I feel like home does not exist outside of this connection. And I could just get um, really emotional because I feel everybody wants that, man. And you know what, Leo? In the two years I've been doing tarot for YouTube, I've never experienced the serenity that is coming through this connection. And this is not toxic. It's not. This is something that comes through. And it's like e even the, the misplaced energy where we, we're confused and we don't know where we stand with the person is coming through as positive energy oh hey you know what it's fine they got they have to do them I have to do me and I feel like the negative experiences all kind of um, they're all stimulated from outside of this connection it's not within it I cannot help but feel like you guys bring each other comfort and peace and really like I just want to start tearing up because um I have not seen a Leo read that has brought this um, much emotion and this much like just genuine energy to each other. And since I started again, I'm not trying to sound like a broken record, but let's see what's coming next. I mean, I just better see all the positive. What is coming next? Look at that. You have commitment, brand new beginnings, new starts. You got the victory. You have everything, balance, success, and rewards. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to place any age or gender or anything on this read, but I really feel like you guys have been through so many lifetimes together. Um, the actual, uh, distorted and toxicity of this connection is like slim to none. Um, I just feel like I'm dealing with, it doesn't matter how old you guys are, but I feel like I'm dealing with two of the oldest souls that could incarnate. You guys probably have the galactic center Sagittarius A placement. We are sparked from galaxy plasma, man, and we're going to come through and we're going to wreck it here on earth in a beautiful way though. All right. So let's see where you guys are leaving this world. How are you guys leaving this world? Look at that. No more, no more heartbreak. Okay. This right here is resolution. 
you guys have the hermit card and we have taking taken action all right towards the end goal with that knight of wands i feel like the hermit card and the three of swords is actually moving past all of the irrelevant bs that you guys have ever endured and put up with okay it's like Nobody else exists outside of this connection. We're closing the door on heartbreak, okay? And we're moving forward together, like hand in hand, you guys. Look at this, coming out of the single phase into the coupled phase. Wow, you guys, this is a deep read, man, and I love it, so love it. So we're gonna pull initials. If yours are not here and this other person's is not here, that's fine, as long as you resonate with that. We have BB, VF, and P-Y. All right, Leo, I'm leaving it here. You guys take care.